Australia's openers lead the team to a thrashing of Sri Lanka. Australia won the first T20 international in Colombo on Tuesday by 10 wickets. Info 366 provides significant trending stories from business, technology, movies, sports, videos, photos and many more every day, so subscribe now and turn on the notification bell for regular updates, give it a like and leave your thoughts in the comments section below, alright let's get started with today's story. In 14 overs, the visitors reached 134 for 0. In his unbeaten 44 ball 70, Warner blasted 9 fours, while Finch smacked 61 runs off 40 balls. In the first six overs, Warner and Finch scored 59 runs. In an emphatic 10-wicket triumph against Sri Lanka in the inaugural T20 International in Colombo on Tuesday, Australian openers David Warner and Aaron Finch hit half-centuries. After a penetrative Josh Hazelwood stint reduced the hosts to 128 all-out in 19.3 overs, the visitors cruised to 134 for zero in 14 overs, chasing only 129 for win. The defending champions, Australia, are preparing for the 2022 T20 World Cup, which will be hosted on home soil later this year. In rain-soaked Colombo, Australia captain Finch won the toss and asked Sri Lanka to bat first. Warner's undefeated 44-ball 70 included 9 fours, while Finch's 40-ball 61 not out included 4 fours and 4 sixes. Warner and Finch smashed 59 runs in the first six overs, putting pressure on crucial Sri Lankan bowlers Wanindo Hazaranga and Mahesh Thikshana, who combined for six wicketless overs for 52 runs. For the hosts, Dashmatha Kamara gave up 48 runs in four overs. In the first of three T20s, Josh Hazelwood got three wickets in the 14th over, triggering a middle-order batting collapse. Danushka Gunathilika, 26, Kuzel Mendes, 1, Banuka Rajapaksa, 0, and Captain Dason Shanaka were among the wickets taken by the informed pacer in his four overs. The wicket was a little bit slow, Hazelwood said, but I guess you can utilize it to your advantage. The rear of a length was quite important. We saw that tonight because I've been working hard on my T20 cricket, playing a lot, and feeling secure. Mitchell Stark, Hazelwood's new ball partner, removed opener Pat Humnisanka for 36 off 31 balls before sweeping through the host's lower order to end with 3-26 in four tight overs. Sri Lanka's top three hitters got the squad off to a good start, scoring 100 runs in the first 12 overs. In the final overs, none of the top three batsmen, Nisanka, Gunathilika, and Cherith Asalanka were able to stay in the game. Hazaranga, who tried to lead a lower order comeback with a 15 ball 17, and Kamara were both dismissed by Stark. Asalanka and Chamika Karunaran were both run outs for the hosts, who were bowled out three balls short of their allowed 20 overs. During the Sri Lanka trip, which runs until July 12, Australia will play five one day internationals and two test matches. I believe with the ball, we know as batters how difficult it is to face Josh Hazelwood's consistent links, Finch said. By collecting wickets, we were able to control the middle overs. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you click on the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.